Welcome back to Sneakers in... Elsewhere! Sneakers has left Skyrim because he ran into some other Khajiit who were going home to elsewhere. And here he is! He, there's this Khajiit woman here called Yura, as you can see. So, Yura, greetings! The former are happy with your progress. You grow stronger every time they see you. <laughs> so, what are the Palmar? They are the brothers and sisters. They are many types of Khajiit. Although the Palmar look feral, they too follow the moon in their way. So... You... Oops, I mean you... Are a Palmar? Yes, we are. We are Khajiit. But our tribe never left our home. We've come to guard you, as we were ordered by our pride leader, Deep Claw. Well, that's just brilliant, isn't it? And look, Snickers is just overjoyed to be here and absolutely stunned with the amazing beauty of this place, see ya. He must have forgotten how beautiful it was in here. I'm, mean, you know, what well, these guys. This is obviously a mod. Uh, yes, we are. We are Khajiit, but our tribe never left our home. And I'm not gonna <laughs> voice act sneakers anymore in, in this episode, really. By our pride leader, Deep Claw. Uh, this episode is a kind of postscript to uh, um, to Skyrim, I suppose. Um, Basically, it's just because I, I found this mod called uh, the Moon Path to Elsewhere. I don't know. I don't know if anyone who is at all into mods has, has been able to miss out on this mod. <laughs> I hope not, sort of. Um, but I just had to show it to you. I mean, just 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 look at it. I mean, the only sad thing about how this mod looks, is that I just know YouTube won't be able to do it justice by a long shot. <laughs> uh, what else is amazing? Well, I've just arrived in Elsewhere, and the first thing they did was say, oh, this is my place. This huge uh, place with a bed over here, and uh, which I can use to sleep in, and it'll be my own luck bed, and I can wake in well-rested and stuff. My alchemy and enchanters lab area, my own, uh, um, there's my own, like, uh, uh, blacksmith's shop over here, the for a forge, there's mannequins and weapon racks and chests and stuff, and they just gave me all that just for coming back home to elsewhere, I guess, um, don't know why, <laughs> maybe uh, the, the dragonborn, uh, the Khajiit Dragonborn has sort of a become a poster boy now for a sort of Khajiit, Khajiit human relations. What do I know? Um, and I don't care. I'm just I've got I've got this huge beautiful place, and I can explore this something. amazingly good-looking place, and almost slip on this on the yes. I suppose very slippery and wet. Floor boards of this boat. Anyway, um, so, Mr. Wanderer. This one needs something. What have you got for sale? Take a look. So, you drive your boat around and, 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 and buy and sell things, I guess. Trade. Ah, oh, nothing out of the ordinary, really. Except, of course, you'd have some skooma. <laughs> Do you have some moon sugar as well? Yeah. <laughs> you would, wouldn't you? Um. Fair enough. Uh, mm -hmm. Not in the mood to buy any of that stuff right now, as it happens. There's something strange uh, with all the water. When I'm close to the water, something strange happens in first-person mode. It's not like that, really, in third-person mode. Uh, not as bad, at least. Um, but 
that's the only optical nuisance in this absolutely stunning mod. I mean, as you can see, I've played Dawn God. <laughs> I have actually. It's been quite a while bef since I finished um, the, the Let's Play, the ordinary Let's Play. Oh, look at that! Wow. Look at that beast. Absolutely peaceful. This is like the, the horse like beast of elsewhere, apparently. The beast of burden. Oh, sorry. I've, I've got a bit of a cold as well, but I'm defying everything, you know. I'm defying my cold and my, you know. <laughs> I just had to show you this stuff. It's just so amazing. And if you're the kind of person who, th who complains about Skyrim, that Skyrim was just one big white desolation, basically, and that Oblivion, for all its graphical c crudeness, looked much nicer because it was more colourful than this mod will really be for you. Look how, how alien it looks, how completely different from Skyrim, how, how incredibly lush. And there's this huge area we can just enjoy. There's the, these crabs over here. They're not even hostile, you can just sort of... <laughs> I mean, why would they be? Why would a stupid mud crab attack? A human, anyway. These river crabs are much smarter, <laughs> basically. Of course, this isn't just an area you can just. You don't just have to just run around and explore. There's obviously some questing and adventuring for you to do as well in this mod. Uh, whoops. Oh, huh. Messing with that big holes thing was a really bad idea, Mr. River Crab. <laughs> Look, they they got completely new drop. Droppings? And that's not what it's called. They drop completely new items as well. River crab chitting and river crab meat. Which increases your magic by two points. <laughs> what an amazing achievement and an amazing improvement anyway. Yeah, I'm going in here to the waterways. Because I'm looking for someone in there apparently. Um, let's skip this load screen. I guess what I'm trying to say is that, uh, yeah, you can see I've played Dawn God, but compared to this, this mod, Dawn God looks pale and bleak and dull in comparison. Look at that. The lag we've got here is due to fraps, not the mod itself, so I apologize about that. Oh. So we've gone a bit further down this uh, waterways, basically. Uh, it really there's no lag at all, basically. Um, when I'm playing, so whatever lag is here is due to Fraps recording. Yeah, it, it does lag when I'm recording, um, not when I'm just playing. So you just have to trust me uh, about that. Uh, it seems I found an area. Beat some of those spider things, and I found an area with most more, more civilized people, and that would appear to be my quest mark right over there. And look at all these boats! Wow. The only thing that surprises me is that all these Khajiits don't dislike all the water getting wet and stuff. <laughs> Hello, Mervad Den friend, Den friend, sorry. Greetings, big guy. What are you guarding there? And what is it to you, little one? Speak to Kamel. He is in his march down the stairs. If he vouches for you, Mervar may turn his ears to you. Hmm. So he's the important one around here, and you just do what he says, hmm? Whoops. 
Was that an insult? Sorry, didn't mean to. <laughs> okay, let's go see this other guy. No need to annoy people in this nice place. Well, you might say the same as the guy over there, so... If this is the one to whom Sneakers must make his introductions, then he will. Hello, Amir. 